So if my children say to me, I don't want to go to school tomorrow, I always say to them that education is a privilege. There's so much knowledge in the world that you can benefit from. Building Smart recognise this, and that's why they've launched an education programme to help people understand the benefits from digital ways of working. So we've recently launched the uh, phase one of the program which we're calling uh, individual qualification and that's really about uh, developing uh, uh, a base knowledge for industry professionals and this is um, it's going to have a huge impact I think in, in how um, professionals are operating. It's obviously directed at um, individuals who can, who can uh, sit an approved course and do the test. But we also see a huge impact for uh, building owners um, that they can start to mandate and require people with the Building Smart Professional Certification to have that uh, qualification. One of the aims of the program we've learned is that there's a need for a global learning framework. Uh, BIM is an international process and it's an international um, tool that can be used and so what we've developed is an international learning outcomes framework for open BIM. And for a comparable certificate we uh, need minimum requirements for course providers and uh, those is it uh, what we are defining here. Um, it concerns the course provider itself. It also um, concerns uh, the experience, uh, the BIM experience of the teachers and trainers to uh, give the best quality on the courses. And um, uh, for this, we have a guideline um, which includes a process map and which includes minimum requirements uh, which should be kept by all chapters committing to our um, learning outcome framework. I will tell you about the, the, um, the complete online solution that we are developing. And it is for both the Building Smart chapter, is for the course provider and also for, for the, the candidate taking the exam. And it's not a simple system because we also focus on value-added services. And that means that when the candidate is taking the online exam, he of course gets a diploma if he passes, but he also gets results in each module so we can see if what was good and bad. For the course provider, we also give a lot of statistics so they can see when they have a course which element was bad and so they can improve their education. And that's also important. For the Building Smart chapter, we also have statistics both to see uh, the course providers so they can follow up and also the questions. So it's a more than just an online tool for just taking a multiple choice exam. The market needs to know uh, what to expect from the, the different professionals that are involved in, in building an AECO market. And so there should be a, a way to certificate and, and measure and benchmark this, this level of knowledge in BIM. That's why we are developing the different uh, um, schema that needed to, to create it and certify this. At the moment we're discussing uh, phase one, which is about the basic understanding, but we're starting to look at phase two, which is dealing with personal competencies uh, and the skills that people need to be able to demonstrate to do their actual work that they carry out for clients and for their employers. So phase two is going to be a really interesting extension to our current work. I also work for Man and Machine UK. Um, we've recently just launched the programme and we're excited with a lot of interest from around the world and um, if you're interested in finding out more then we'd encourage you to go to the website and click on the link or send us an email for more information. I think that quite a lot of organisations aren't aware of these benefits yet. And we know that when client organisations start calling on their suppliers to be building smart qualified, that's when the world will start to change. We need you to join in, help us uh, improve the way that the built asset environment is managed.